What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about RPC families in Revit. So if you don't know, RPC families are those weird tree families that you've probably seen in Revit, you've probably used them. If you're placing trees in Revit, you know they look kind of like a six-year-old made them out of cardboard or something like that. Uh, so they look kind of silly, but the whole idea is to have a realistic image appearance when you render that. Uh, render your 3D model. So I'm sure you have seen those uh, and I decided to make uh, this video because I think there is not much knowledge about those families. People tend to use them but they don't know that they can actually customize them. That's the, the first thing. Uh, how they work, uh, what are some of the benefits, some of the issues and most importantly what are some of those hidden RPC families. Yes, I'm going to be showing you some hidden families that you probably didn't know about but they're actually there within your Revit software. You don't have only trees, you actually have additional things. You have uh, things like people, uh, cars, uh, and much, much more uh, like office furniture. And a lot of that is in the latest version of Revit. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Uh, but yeah, I decided to dedicate uh, just uh, one video for this topic. Uh, so without talking any further, let's jump into Revit as my head shrinks down. Uh, so as you can see here, I'm at my home screen in Revit. So let's start a new project and then uh, there, there we're going to be testing these out. So I'm just going to go here to models and to new. And for the template file, I'm just going to be going with my architecture design template. I actually have a few custom templates and if you want to check them out, you can follow the links in the description just below the video or up there in the cards. I'm just going to choose the architecture design template here uh, and then I'm just going to click OK. So as Revit starts up, uh, we're just going to be placing one of these uh, families simply here on the screen. Uh, so this is the starting view as the part of my template <laughs> and uh, let's go here to the site plan because trees are usually placed in the site plan. Uh, then uh, to find these RPC families you can either find them here in the component tool uh, just by going here to properties. Now these are some of the trees that come uh, with my uh, template uh, but I'm just going to scroll down and find the trees that come with Revit. So those are these RPC tree families. Now, as you can see, you have many families here, uh, but they're usually a little bit hard to find, especially if you have a lot of families loaded in here in your uh, components. So what they like to do to find these RPC tree families easier is simply go to the massing and site tab, go to site component, and then there you will have all of those families and they are, oops, they are a little bit easier to find. Uh, now let's check out one of them. For example, this, uh, I don't know, let's try the Blueberry Elder 4.5 meters tall. I'm just going to select that one and place it here on screen. So let's just click once, zoom in a little bit, hit the escape key a couple of times, and there we go. So this family has this kind of representation uh, with and just simple lines and uh, that's how it looks. Uh, now, uh, if I just go here to the 3D view and open it up like this, here, this is what we have. You remember, as I said, that kind of uh, cardboard cutout? Yeah, well, that's exactly what we have over here. Uh, now, notice what happens if I just go here to the view properties and unfortunately, I cannot change this to realistic at the moment. I have to override my view template just as part of my template. Uh, I add view templates just to kind of ensure uh, elegant graphics. But for this particular demonstration, we're just going to override that by going here to view templates and just setting this to none and clicking apply and OK. Okay, now if I just switch this to realistic, as you can see, it's just going to flip into this 2D image. So if we select it again, it's going to look like that. It's going to show the, the little cardboard cutout. Uh, but like this, it's just going to look, well, like that. And as you orbit around, as you can see, it's just going to kind of flip through images as you go around. It looks kind of weird when you orbit around like this. And one of the main issues that they have with these families is when you have a top-down view. So when you're looking top-down, so if you just orbit around like this and look at this 
top down, see how it starts to become really, really flat. Now, obviously, families do not look like this in real life. Uh, so this is one of the issues that we have with these families. They, they become flat when you go to 3D. Uh, another issue is if we go back to the site plan, and uh, again, over here, I'm just going to override the view template, just set that to none. Okay, uh, and now as you can see, even though the shadows are turned on over here, there is no uh, shadow with this tree. Uh, now that doesn't look that awful <laughs> as is like uh, right now, but if I go to the architecture tab, if I go to the wall command, and if I just place a simple wall like this, let's place that wall, see how now this wall has a shadow and the tree doesn't have a shadow. So that's the second issue with RPC families. So that's just something to keep in mind, something that you might find annoying. Okay, let's move forward and now let's talk about the actual customization, something that I'm sure you are, well, most excited for. So if I go back here to the 3D view, let's get rid of this wall as we don't need it. Uh, and now if I just select this family and go into edit type, you're going to notice that the type properties uh, has, well, it has some specific properties. So here under identity data, we have render appearance properties and also render appearance. Uh, now I'm just going to go first to render appearance and here we have the name of the family. And if you just click on that name, like so, it's going to open up the render appearance library and here you will notice all of the trees. Now uh, you might remember that here in Revit we do have some trees, but it's um, like 10 trees or 12 trees. Here we actually have 43 trees. I've actually counted it. <laughs> so uh, we have many more options here. So you can go through this and find trees that you might be interested in. Now something that's even more exciting is what happens when you go here to class and open up this drop menu. See now we have the uh, auto uh, families, we have the fall trees, furniture, office clutter and so on. So let's try them out. Let's try auto economy midsize. We actually have a VW Beetle, a really cool car in yellow. <laughs> so now if I open this, let's try office clutter. So here we have a notebook computer, a picture frame. Let's try people. So as you can see here, we have many different people and they are categorized by race for some reason. It's kind of weird, but there we go. We have Dwayne, which is business Hispanic, and then here we have Business Asian, Florence and Jane, uh, and here we have People Resorts, which is Yin Yin, and so on. So here you can find all of the people that you might want to include in your models. So let's see how can we include a person for our RPC family. That's exciting. So if I just close out of this, and let's cancel out of that, I'm just going to switch this back here to hidden line and then I'm going to go back select the family go to edit type and then let's duplicate this family so you want to duplicate it and let's call this one a person I don't know which one I'm going to use I'm just going to go with person click OK and then you want to go here to render appearance and then you want to choose a person so let's go with people casual let's go with Alex for example and let's click OK so now this has been set to Alex. So if I now click OK here, as you can see, this is going to switch to Alex. Now Alex looks a little bit odd as this cardboard cutout, but obviously if we go here and switch the graphic display options to a realistic uh, view mode, Alex is going to look like this. And if you actually orbit around, as you can see, Alex is in 3D, which is quite cool. He actually casts kind of a little bit of a shadow kind of a little bit off to the side but it looks kind of odd so anyways this is what alex looks like but it does uh, alex does have the same issues as the tree family because if you orbit around like this alex becomes flat uh, another uh, potential issue is the fact that alex is quite tall so if i go here to elevations and open up the south elevation you can see that alex is almost four meters tall which is not what you want to see uh, so you can actually select this family go into edit type and then here we have the height so height has to be adjusted uh, just because you've changed your render appearance doesn't mean that your height is going to change uh, so Alex might be I don't know 180 
or something like that, hit apply, and now Alex is a little bit more proportional. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Uh, another thing that you should keep in mind is here the render appearance properties. So in the render appearance properties, if you select this, uh, here you have some uh, parameters. So you have jitter, uh, build broad, and cast reflections. So this is something that you have as options for Alex in particular. Now keep in mind that if you change Alex for something else, let's try a car, if you change Alex for a VW Beetle and go into edit, here we have some additional uh, settings. So here, for example, we have the option to cast reflections, but then additionally we have transparency, tinting, uh, now this is particular for the glass, so the glass can be transparent or it can be tinted, uh, and also you have the use tinting option, then you have the license plate, which you can add, you can actually add a custom plate and then you can add a custom plate number. Let's try B, let's try, oh, we have to click here. Oh, we have to load in an image. That's too bad. I was hoping that they could just type it out here. But anyways, you can load in a license plate image, which can kind of be cool, I guess. So anyways, let's click OK, let's click Apply, OK, and then uh, Alex is changed and now we have a beetle, which you can kind of orbit around, and as you can see, it's uh, it's in 3D, the glass is kind of transparent, and this is what that looks like. Now, obviously, for the beetle, you have to change the height again, so you would have to go here into Edit Type, and then uh, find an accurate height for this vehicle, and type that in. Now, this is all fun and exciting, but now let's check out the changes to the RPC families in the latest version of Revit in Revit 2022. And I'm going to be showing you some of the massive improvements and some of the new exciting families. And here we are in uh, Revit 2022. Uh, now, before I start showing you all of these new RPC families, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, balkanarctic.com. Uh, it's going to be the first link just below this video in the description and then also in the cards. Uh, so check it out if you're interested. There I have all of my courses, all of my beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level courses. You can in either get individual courses or you can get a subscription to the whole website. There is over 120 hours of content and I'm adding more courses each month. So if you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely a good place to start. Okay, so getting back to Revit 2022 and all of the new RPC families. So when you go here, for example, to either Massing and Site and then Site Component, or if you go to the Architecture tab and then the Component, tool and let's expand this for the RPC families again we have the same trees uh, so if I just open uh, open one of them like I don't know this one and let's place it there hit the escape key a couple of times zoom in and let's select that tree okay now if I go into edit type and if I see what we have here, so uh, as you can see, uh, again, we have the same options, render appearance, and let's just duplicate this family and let's call it the new RPC family. And then we can test out uh, some, uh, some new families. So let's go here to render appearance or new render appearances to be more uh, accurate. And let's open this up. So here, again, we have the same trees pretty much, but if I expand this, now you see that we have aircrafts. Now this is quite cool. We actually have a couple of Airbuses, which I find really, really exciting. Uh, so you can add some planes to your models, which, uh, which can look really cool, especially for renderings that can kind of add that little edge to the whole model. Uh, then we have auto economy midsize. That's the same VW Beetle, but for automobile, uh, automobiles, cars to be more precise. Uh, here we actually have more options. We have a Honda Odyssey, Honda, I know we have this van, uh, Amazon van, we have a Chevy truck and a GMC truck and a Honda SUV. Uh, here we have some furniture. So we have some office chairs, we have a floor lamp, coffee table. Now this is really cool, uh, especially if you're creating kind of a quick rendering for your client, uh, for perhaps an office building project. It will look much better if you can add all of these uh, uh, to your model just to make a little bit nicer renderings. Uh, next we have furniture, just chairs, uh, motorcycles. Okay, we have a KTM motorcycle, Duke. 
Uh, we have office clutter, which is kind of the same. We have the people and it's nice to have them kind of all lined up. Okay, we seem to have a sitting person. Uh, yes, and uh, I, I think we have a few more people. Okay, here's somebody. Is he taking a photograph or something? Let's see. Now, something that you'll notice here is I've changed that family. If I go back into edit type, so this is now Cody posed, but here in the floor plan view, it stays basically the same. Now, this is another issue with these RPC families. Just because you change your render appearance, it's not going to change your floor plan graphics. So in the floor plan, it's going to have the same tree graphics. So if you want to change this, you'd have to actually go into your edit type menu. And then here, uh, if we open up that family, go to ground floor, and as you can see, this is how that looks in the ground floor. It's just a simple 2D family that's placed there. Uh, you would have to get rid of this family and then go here to annotate, go to symbolic lines, and then you would have to sketch that out. So just something to keep in mind. It's not going to change everything out of the box if you just change the render appearance. So there's a little bit more extra work if you want to use uh, these uh, people families, planes, trains, automobiles, and so on. Uh, now let me just hit the escape key a few times, get rid of this family, uh, get rid of this preview. I don't want to save the changes. Okay, we're back in our floor plan view and let's, let's actually go here to the default 3D view and this is what that looks like. So he seemed to, seems to be sitting. Uh, we have to go to the realistic view to get kind of the full appearance uh, of Cody, I think. If I remember correctly, there we go. Okay, he's sitting and waving. So this is a cool family because you can place him kind of sitting on a, on a bench or on something like that. So I think it looks uh, kind of cool to have these families. And again, you would have to readjust the height. But there we go. That's a new family that you did not have previously. Uh, if I go back here into edit type and back to render appearance, uh, something else that they wanted to show you, uh, especially for uh, if I could just go back here to cars and let's try this. Uh, Chevrolet uh, Colorado uh, truck and if I click OK for the render appearance here we actually have a function where we can change the color so by default it's going to be this red color but you can actually change it to whatever so you want a pink truck no problem just change it make it a pink truck click and there we go we have a pink Chevrolet uh, now this Americans would not approve of this I'm quite sure <laughs> anyways <laughs> let's go back into edit type Let's go back to uh, our families and here uh, something else that I wanted to show you is the fact that we have these shrubs uh, and grasses and you can actually find these and you can include them and I think they're really good for kind of adding a bit more realism to your renderings. So if you're kind of uh, on a tight schedule, you want to kind of throw together a, a nice little rendering for the client, it's really easy just to throw uh, a few of these kind of on screen just have them there. Uh, I, I think it it can really really improve your uh, imp improve your work. Now, if you uh, if you would be perhaps interesting interested in in getting these families all set up like a set of separate families, not having to go and make custom adjustments, that's something that they can do and may perhaps make it available uh, on my website or something like that. So, if you would be interested in something like that, please tell me uh, in the comment section below the video, and then perhaps that's something. I could create for you. Anyways, uh, let's just uh, OK out of this and let's see what else can we see here. So we do have some general trees and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You have these really cool families which are included and you can customize them. Well, for example, this bike, we cannot customize it, uh, but a lot of them can be customized and they look really, really cool. The only unfortunate side is that they are hidden and also in the floor plan, you have to customize it because it doesn't make sense to have your motorcycle look like a tree in the uh, in the floor plan view. Uh, so please tell me in the comment section below, uh, also, do you use these RPC families? Do you find them useful or do you find them as kind of a nuisance, uh, kind of a car cardboard cutout? something that looks silly. I would really like to know that. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.